But what do you guys think? Really, what do you guys think? What do you think? Like, it just beats, it just beats me. It just beats me. Let me stop talking about it because if I do, I might sound, I might sound somehow. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. If you are stopping by for the first time, I say welcome. Welcome back to the community of Banters. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. I mean, love up on me, girl. <laughs> and if this is your third, your fourth, I mean, you are a returning subscriber. What's up, girl? How you doing, bro? So today we are going on our um, feminine purchase purchase of purchase of vlog okay i'll think of a better name when i'm editing this video but right now we are going to walmart to get our feminine things yeah and really today i'm just trying to be in the mood to vlog i am really not in the mood as you can see i look like baba sue in london If you see, this is the ugliest jacket that I have. Rachel knows, <laughs> Rachel knows this, but that's just to show that I I didn't actually really plan to vlog today. Like I'm not in the talking talking mood, but we are doing this, yeah. Thank you, thank you, sir. Is this credit or debit? Eh? I don't do credit. We don't borrow money. Sorry. Say, say that again. I don't do credit. We don't borrow. Money. Hey, this pride, this pride is much. <laughs> How much am I spending? Eh, eh, two cobony. Is that $19? So guys, I um, we are done with all the buying. My husband and Mo, they are inside the Larama to buy some things. I don't know what it is they're buying. There were some things I needed I didn't see. Even though I'd already spent past my 
my allowance for stipend but anyway there are some things i didn't see like the charcoal exfoliator i use on my scalp and it's really paining me so i have to probably check sephora or amazon and try to order it because i really really need it and um, one thing that i've realized with um dry scalp especially some uh, one that is genetic you can unless you change your genes like you can you can outgrow it but it's not like you can cure it so you have to basically manage it for probably the rest of your life but sometimes you do outgrow these things because there was a time i i i grew i outgrew the um what's it called um atopic dermatitis i had so though i really have to be careful when i'm using things but then i don't know hopefully my husband guys you needed to have seen my husband's face when i gave him the receipt and you saw how much i spent how much did i even spend that man safe so i'm just waiting for them in the car um mo wants to get a journal so they went to, they went to get it inside dollar ram And I don't know what's wrong with me. Whenever I'm inside um, Walmart, so let me see. Whenever I'm inside stores, I'm usually shy of vlogging. And I know that if this is something I want to do for a long time, I have to get over it, get over myself. So I probably didn't even I probably didn't even vlog well. I'm hoping that the videos I made are good and explanatory enough so when we get home i will show you everything i got and how i use them the ones that i was using before and the new things that i got now so so guys this is random like absolutely random but the truth is it has been in my mind for a very long time what do you guys think of people that um they don't speak well not necessarily like they don't they make grammatical errors but they don't probably they don't pronounce um words well and they feel that especially nigerians or africans and they feel that people that speak well are actually for me and not necessarily that they're just speaking well i have um I, I there was a time i had this discussion with um nike nike chiku and so there's this mutual um acquaintance of ours that um you know this person talks like she she makes she talks well she talks well like she doesn't make grammatical errors but the way she talks like um she talks with i have yoruba accent and i don't i don't um have an issue with that but um this person feels that um someone who is a nigerian that talks well or tries to um talk better probably with um using phone that person is most likely for me what is not and i don't i don't i don't think so i feel like if you are an um an educated person i mean we should see it in the way you talk language i'm big on language like i've always been like that growing up um i would sit down with dictionary reading it from beginning like i'll just basically be reading words in the dictionary reading the transcriptions like i can transcribe words from my head like it's just it's just me like i'm big on it yeah so um really i feel like people nigerians or africans that um want to talk better or want to um pronounce words the way they should be pronounced i don't think it means that you are for me i feel like as an educated person coming from nigeria nigeria's official language is, is is english so it's okay if you speak well if you speak well or you're trying to speak well doesn't make you um doesn't mean that you are actually for me what do you guys think because this thing is usually like on my head like on my mind when i'm thinking of like this person i was listening to this person talk and she was like lance she wanted to pronounce um 
the word L E A R N T. And she said, Lant. I was pissed. Who's that door properly? I was pissed because you are supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I mean, how to close it. English is something that you learn. I'm not. We are not talking about colonization or whatever. It's a language. You learned it from from when you were in secondary school, from kindergarten. So you are now pronouncing words like that. It just shows that uh, I don't know what it shows, but you now having issues with people that pronounce the words the way it should be pronounced is where i i have issues but what do you guys think really what do you guys think what do you think like it just beats it just beats me it just beats me let me stop talking about it because if i do i might sound i might sound somehow like mm, it is well. so, so see you guys at home yeah guys i'm back home and this is the breakdown of everything we bought. This is what I use as my facial moisturizer. And this was $19 something. I can't remember again. And um, this is the cleaning part for the face. It's very soft silicone. I normally use a konjac um, sponge, but I feel like it um, harbors bacteria. So. That's why I'm deciding to go with this. And we got this um, Neutrogena Bar Facial Soap. Also, this was like $7.90 something, like $8. Then, cutting pads. Okay, this is not part of what I'm supposed to show you, but yeah. my This is my toothpaste. My husband bought, um, bought the wrong one for me and I haven't been feeling my mouth for the past few days. So this is the hydrating serum I use. And um, so I'm just, I just want to try this product. I've been wanting a BHA um, product because I feel like my pores um, around the, around my nose is I feel like around my nose is getting textured anyway. I'll, maybe when I start using it, I would explain how I use it and all of that to you guys. So it's also a toner, and I don't have a toner, so that's why I went ahead to get this. So it's like triple action. So hopefully, hopefully it does the job. I looked, I also looked for the um, moisturizer because my friend said I should get the moisturizer that is very good but it had it had sold out by the time I got to Walmart so apparently it's very good this is my all time fav um, the Avino daily moisturizing oil is so I usually use my moisture but the moisturizer then i'll use this over it and still guys my skin is still freaking dry see my skin see how it looks see see my palm see my hand very dry so i was gonna buy the neutrogena um body lotion but i saw that it's for normal to dry skin i would have loved if it was for like dry skin so this is another product I just want to try. I've heard about this uh, brand so much and it was expensive as small as it is like this. It was expensive. It was over $20 and it's for scalp. It's for scalp. If you watched my last video or my last two videos, I'm not sure now, you will see the issue I have with my scalp and how I'm treating them, I'm treating it. So this is my, this is something I would love to use on my scalp now. And I got something else for it, I'm coming. Yeah, so guys, I got this virgin coconut oil too. Virgin coconut oil is good for scalp. So it will help me with moisturizing my scalp and keeping it moisturized. So fingers crossed i hope um this product will work for my scalp and for my face that brings us to the end of this video
boom thank you guys for watching till the end please subscribe if you haven't subscribed like this video and make sure to comment and join the conversation about what i talked about earlier bye see you in my next vlog